you're influenced by everything by um, from a musical point of view everything you hear influences you I mean it can't but influence you or you'd be deaf you know you, you wouldn't listen to anything so everything you hear um, even from I can remember I, I would say to Bob that you know even if you, you're playing with certain bands and they may not be that good but you can always learn something from something that probably isn't that good anyway it's a, suddenly there might be a 20 seconds of like wow that's good and that, then that influences you mm. or it could be anything absolutely anything radio tv anything it certainly is not born inside that's for sure but you get to the point where you can you know what um, I mean I, I get I'm old now so I must be up to a bad hair in sort of things that I've sort of got in my brain you know um, things that I've learned um, I mean, you obviously want to keep learning all the time. Or, I mean, I do. I do. And so, yes. Bump, you know. Yeah, I mean, once you start sitting back and going, well, you know, I've, I've made it, you know. Mm. You've no yeah. good. You've got yeah. to keep going, I, I want to be like him or better than this, and I can do that. Yeah. But you've got to push yourself, and you've got to have people Absolutely, with, with yeah. a like mind around you to connect with and push each other, you know, yeah. bounce off, you know. You can't do it on your own. You need some ex- yeah, enthusiasm right, yeah, yeah. from somebody and else. And actually, that's, that's why it works. You put your finger on your partnership through the years, actually. Well, I think the, that's the way why you work together, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's why you it works. You found yeah. your musical... I mean, I go in and, I, and I'm going like, oh, I've got this song here. Oh, it's going to blow Bob away or something. <laughs> oh, and then, what do you think, Bob? Yeah. Well, what about... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's a great... He's, he, Bob's my... I, like my sounding board, if you like, mm. um, and he, he's also the best judge of what Magnum mm. should be like. I hope so. Yes. I mean, I, I can so. sort of go off the tangent and mm. uh, do, and I'm sort of calling him boring. Well, oh, <laughs> with you, you know, I want to do this. I'll yeah, I'll go, yeah, yeah but is that Magnum? Claw yeah. it, claw it back to yeah. Oh, keep it Magnum. That's fantastic, actually. What I mean, it's just knowing that you both act as a sort of check on each other, and you still. Yeah. That's right. That's you have to marvelous. do that, and you, yeah. you can go on forever like that. Yeah, yeah. I believe. So, yeah, and that's something that really you've, it's happened from the early days, I would imagine, that you've, you've, more, you've more got that understanding. More really, so in the last, I'd yeah. say, 10 years. Yeah, I'd say, I yes, yeah. not so much in the early days, no. I, mean, I used to hate being in the studio. I, was, mm. I wasn't there. Mm. I, oh, let's go on, what's wrong with just touring, you know, we've got to make records for stupid. So I was no help at all in the early days. But now it's I'm different. I yeah. think differently now. So if we fast forward to the late 1990s, after the the band sort of split up, really for the first time, 1995. That was the only time. Really. It must have been pretty awful, really. You must. I think you've said this in interviews, Tony. That um, I mean, I know you did the Hard Rain thing for a couple mm. of albums. Yeah. But you don't break that bond easily. I mind you, you're working with um, with with Bob, but it wasn't Magnum. That that's Magnum is also. It wasn't the supposed to be thing, Magnum. Yeah. No, it's no. Hard rain. Yeah. yeah, but you know, Magnum's the thing that's bound you together, and you must yeah. have yes. felt there came a time in the late '90s, which was a bad decade for rock generally, really. Yeah, it was. Well, certainly yeah. for for Magnum's type of rock, mm. um, you must have really felt the. I didn't the pull to get back and do the Magnum thing. Not, not, a, no. not at the time, really. <laughs> um, I, I was just sort of in the studio. I think we were in the studio all day, every day. Mm. <laughs> and just getting drunk a lot, you know. And um, <laughs> going into this, go to the pub, get drunk, come back and turn everything up really loud. <laughs> Sounds great. That's what I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds great when you've Blow the drink. speakers up. That's yeah. What you do. Turn the speakers That's up and run out of the studio. <laughs> and but but then it, it came to a point when it was like the hard rain thing didn't work and um, it wasn't to be. No. We were. Uh, I, I guess it was like um, our agent actually called me up and said, "Why don't you put uh, Magnum back together?" I said, "Oh, I don't know whether anybody would be interested in doing that." And uh, I called Bob up. He said, "Yeah, yeah, I'd love to do it." Mm. For sure. So, yeah. absolutely. But that's pretty much 
have it happen? Because I, I, I said something like, but, you know, would anybody be interested from an audience point of view as well? But that's what I was going on about. And um, so we did, and um, it's gone downhill since. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, people. Off, off yes. But, but and that's the end of the interview. <laughs> See ya, bye-bye. <laughs> but what was the feedback, though, that you were getting, really, from fans? Because you got some really loyal fans who follow the band from the earliest times. Were you aware that there was this sort of um, a, a need from the fans to see Magnum back again? Were you, were you getting that... Uh, I'm not saying it influenced you in any way, because that's a personal decision to come back together again, but you must have been No, I'm, I'm really glad we, we, yeah. we got it back together, mm. because, I, I mean, I, I can remember saying to Bob, yeah, there's no problem, I'll, I'll write an album, like a new Magnum album, well, yeah, no problem, and then when I tried to do it, I went, what? Um, it, was, it was hard, really hard, and that, mm. that first album, uh, Breath of Life, mm. um, there's still a lot of sticky moments on that album that I go like, ooh, I didn't do that very well. And, uh, which, that's another reason with the evolution thing, it was great to go like, oh, great, and do the guitars again on this and whatever, you know. Mm, yes. But um, <laughs> I thought it was going to be, I think I used the phrase falling off a log writing no. this new album. And it wasn't like that at all. I, I suddenly realised that there is a lot more <laughs> to being in mm. writing the Magnum album mm. than... Uh, you know, just just throwing it out. So mm. I suddenly, it shook me. I've got to be truthful. Oh, blimey! Well, I mean, we hadn't done it for s seven years. Yeah, but it? how do we be magnet? What, what are we supposed to sound like? Yeah, it was like. How do you do it? And, yeah, it's like that, you know. I mean, there's some really good songs on the first mm -hmm. album. Of course, there are. But it, the, we started to sound more like Magnum on uh, um, the, the second yeah. uh, Brand New Morning Brand New album. Morning. Yeah, and that's when we started to, to, yeah. to click into gear. Yeah. And we were, oh, okay, here we go, we got it now. And yeah. then Princess Alice was, took off and yes. here we are.